É, agora, me gostaria de invitar a Yuko, Yuko Snow, é, para, para apresentar. Então, você so, uh, Yuko, well, thank you very much. Thank you for attending our our call, our meeting here. It's really important to have you here to, to show us, you know, the, the, the news about Eric Ondiel. And I know that this is just the beginning, right, Yoko? So please, the floor is yours. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Yoko Snow, Global Product Marketing Director of Eric Ondiel. I hope you can see my screen. Yes? Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm so excited to show you um, about Eric Ondiel today. Um, Eric Ondiel is the only solution which provides true deep learning based denoising and de ringing by leveraging raw data in a single model as of today. So, therefore, it can provide a sharper, clearer, beautiful MR images without sacrificing scan time or even faster. So let's uh, take a look at uh, the technology behind and how it works together. In conventional way, when you try to scan faster, we need to undersample data. In that case, because we don't have enough raw data, image quality is degraded. To make it up, we apply DICOM filter after MR images are reconstructed. But those image filter is not perfect. That's why um, image getting blurry and uh, some artifacts are still remained on the images. Eric on the L, uh, use um, approach is a recondial approach is totally different. Deep learning based uh, technology is integrated into reconstruction pipeline and uh, leveraging MR raw data, not reconstructed DICOM images to solve, to challenge this problem. MR raw data is like a giant Sudoku grid. I, I think many of you knows about Sudoku puzzle. Um, there are a bunch of signals are stored as a number. It looks really looks like a giant Sudoku grid. Same as actual Sudoku grid, some cell does not have a number because we undersample data. And uh, some and some cells have a wrong data number because data are affected by noise. But Eric on the elf fills in, uh, in, fills in and correct those uh, raw data by deep learning neural network, which was vastly trained by huge number of cases. Therefore, it can deliver sharper, clearer, beautiful ML images in which shorter scan time, in much shorter scan time because less raw data is needed. This is a, you know, actual phantom data uh, compared with the, between com, com, conventional reconstruction and the Eric on the L images. You can see much sharper and the clearer uh, images, structure visualization within ring, without ringing artifact on Eric on the L images. Therefore, Eric on the L has so many potential. Let's look at, at another example, uh, the resolution uh, and the SNR comparison. The left knee image has 0 0.6, 0 0.6 uh, spatial resolution with three millimeter slice thickness. If you would like to improve resolution in the same scan time, in this example, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 uh, spatial resolution 
and same slice thickness three millimeter in the middle. Um, image gets noisier because uh, we we just sample less signal in each row data cell. But Aricon DL boosts up SNR because it can significantly reduce noise. So the right image by Aricon DL it has a higher resolution, but you can see higher SNR even compared with lower resolution images. This is a maximized view of the um, joint. You can see clear uh, joint visualization on irreconcilial images. This is another example, uh, comparison with between um, a comparison and SNR and the shorter acquisition time. Left image was acquired in three and a half minutes uh, with the two necks. When we scan it with, with the one next, reduced next uh, scan time get faster, but uh, because we acquire less signal, image getting noisier. But again, Ericon DL boost up uh, reduce noise. That's why SNR is getting higher, better, even double more scan time images. That's the reason why Ericon DL has a lot of potential. Um, those examples, you can utilize Ericon DL in various ways. You can improve image quality or scan time or even both. These are you know, scan time reduction data from our evaluation site. University hospital tended to seek higher resolution and image quality. So they tended to use the Ericon DL to improve um, resolution image quality, but still they enjoy 30 about 30% scan time reduction. Our patient imaging center would like to scan more patients. That's the reason why they use Ericon DL to reduce scan time. In this example, you can see this customer improves scan time about half, but uh, still they enjoy some amount of SNR improvement in addition to scan time reduction. When we sell Ericon DL, um, when we started to sell Ericon DL, many customers are concerning about the AI technology, which may take out some important clinical information or adding something artificially. But as you see in this clinical case, fuzzy structure um, is clearly visualized without noise by Ericon DL. Then nothing disappeared and nothing added. We now receive many positive and convincing customer comment that Eric on DL did not taking out any important information, not adding anything artificially with those uh, example. Some customer considering, you know, the Eric on DL images is too, you know, too smooth and uh, it is not, you know, it is uncomfortable to read two noiseless images. Therefore, we prepared three different noise reduction level, high, medium, and low. Some customers uh, start using from low and medium, but uh, based on our research, 90% uh, of the customer ended up selecting high setting. Then, you know, we, we know customer needs some time to get used to noise-free images. But uh, we have a three setting, so you can start whatever you want. But uh, I'm sure you know you're gonna get comfortable reading uh, high noise-free images. Um, now we already have um, already received about thousand Ericondial orders, and we already delivered about 400 licenses globally. 
And we estimated about 1 million patients were already scanned with Eric on Gill as of now. Customer feedback are super positive. And uh, we also have a lot of peer reviewed publications. This is a list of the you know, 10 publications that we worked with academic collaborators around the world to show Eric on DL in clinical practice. Two things I would like to point out about this list. The first, um, the variation of the clinical area covered by those clinical publications. It shows that Eric on DL works across all anatomies and not limited to one or another anatomies. It can be worked clinically across the range. And second, uh, we had a six publication in the last two months long. This shows that the publication pace is accelerating and uh, catching up now about two years after releasing Eric on Yale. We are ex expecting that more exciting results will be published uh, constantly. Let's take a closer look uh, at uh, one of the latest uh, uh, publication. This excellent publication in new Nature Scientific Report from just last month shows Eric Ondiel applied 2D thin slice pituitary tumors. On the left image, uh, sorry, on the far right image is one millimeter slice thickness uh, image compared to conventional three millimeter slice one in the middle. Um, the Eric on DL one millimeter image shows improved diagnostic detectionability of those uh, pituitary region. The thin slice image are normally noisy but uh, with the combination of Eric on DL now improves diagnostic performance. This is a clinical game changer and uh, the publication data support it. Another beauty of Eric on DL is, you know, the coverage and the range of the compatibility. You might think that technology as advanced as Eric on DL is only available for certain customers or systems, but we don't want anyone to miss out. Eric on DL uh, is now available to almost all GEMR scanner, including our old install base. It's going to be enabled by simple upgrade. And it does not have any anatomical limitation as I showed you and no coil limitation. So you can scan any anatomy with any coils with the Eric on DL in across the range from 1.5T, 3T, and even one seven Tesla scanner. That's the reason why uh, we have a uh, lots of uh, uh, positive customer feedback across the world. And uh, we created a documentary film, uh, Unmissable, um, in this summer. If you are still suspicious about Eric on the L, please watch our documentary program. Uh, you may be encouraged by various doctors enthusiastic feedback across the world. And uh, now Eric on DL is compatible with 2D and diffusion sequences, which can cover seven Tesla, 70% uh, of clinical scans. But this is just the beginning. We just submitted 3D and motion correction sequence enhancement to FDA a few weeks ago. They are still 510K pending, but not available for sale, but uh, which are designed to drama dramatically improve clinical coverage. I assume 90%. I would like to show you a couple of examples. Throat area tended to be affected by swallowing motion during a scan. 
so customer prefer to use motion collection technique, propeller. Aerocondyl propeller are designed to help customer to achieve high spatial resolution imaging with lower scan time. You can see clear, uh, clear central channel uh, visualization without motion in the aerocondyl. Both image apply propeller, so you don't see um, mo patient motion on both images, but you can see drastical SNR improvement. Another example is about shoulder and the pelvis. Those are another challenging anatomy because of patient motion. Shoulder is always affected by breathing motion, uh, but Aerocondyl would enable us uh, to avoid repeat scan. Uh, pelvis area uh, affected by two types of motion, breathing and the digestive motion. Potentially, it can reduce the need for antispasmatic drug to reduce um, motion artifacts. Reducing those drugs is better for patient. At the same time, it could help improving your facility workflow because you don't need to inject a drug. These are 3D um, cases. Um, benefit of 3D imaging is enabling you uh, to see image from various angles. You can see great SNR improvement on aerocondyl images. And uh, also even reformat images has a dramatically you know, dramatical SNR improvement, even compared with direct, uh, you know, sagittal scan with the conventional reconstruction. Then last example is a multi-phase 3D dynamic sequence in liver. Um, the new enhancement enable uh, multi-phase uh, dynamic sequence in 3D in liver and breast we have a lava for abdominal area and a vibrant for um, breast area. Those going to be compatible with Ericondiel. As you see, oh, um, as you can see, image gets sharper and clearer and the ringing artifacts are correctly removed. Um, we believe Ericondiel is one of the most exciting revolution in MR history. Please enjoy the rest of the session and learn more about Eric Ondiel from our users. And thank you very much for your time. So cool. Thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, we have one question from the audience. The question is um, if uh, Eric Ondiel is a kind of filter. So if you can <laughs> explain <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, answer is no. Uh, as I showed you in the you know, earlier uh, slide, uh, Eric Ondiel is integrated into reconstruction pipeline. Then you know, we are uh, approach to raw data, not the DICOM images, to clean the you know, low data and reconstruct uh, image without noise and the artifact. So it's not a filter. That's the reason why many customers enjoy not only image quality improvement and as well as a scan time reduction. Uh, okay. If it's a filter, we cannot reduce scan time. Okay, okay. Well, Yuko, again, thank you very much for your presentation. This is the, the only pre uh, question that we have run, right now. But uh, if you, so we have many participants uh, in the room, feel free to ask, um, we will uh, answer after, okay? No, no problem at all. So you can continue asking Yuko for the, any question about Eric Ondel. Okay, Yuko, thank you very much.